Angles in a polygon. Grade C, standard question. Here is a regular octagon, so all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. Work out the size of the angle AED, so this angle that is marked on the diagram. Now, for this question, um, you could work out the interior angle and then halve it because that's clearly half of that. Um, to work out the interior angle, there's two distinct methods. We're going to look at the interior angle sum for an octagon. With an octagon, if you pick any one point and draw out diagonals to all the other points, you will see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So six triangles, each triangle having the angles up to 180, and if we coloured all those triangles in, all the angles, that would form all the angles on the inside of that polygon. So we've got the total of um, 6 times 180, which is 1080 degrees. Now that's 8 of the angles, so each angle is going to be divided by 8, 135 degrees, so one angle equals 135 degrees. So the one we want, which is half of one angle, we want one angle is 135, so that's going to be half of that. So we want 135 divided by 2, which is going to be 67 and a half degrees. Okay, that's one method. Uh, my preferred method when I'm looking at uh, polygons is always to start with an exterior angle because they're much quicker and easier to get to the actual um, interior or exterior angles you want. So on this shape, if we look at that exterior angle here, okay, on a regular octagon, the exterior angles, the sum of the exterior angles um, is always equal to 360 degrees. So in an octagon we have eight of them. They're all the same because it's a regular octagon. So we've got 360 divided by 8 which is 45 degrees. Now if we know this is 45 degrees then we know the interior angle is going to be 108 minus 45 which is the 135 which is the same one as that one and then we divide that by 2 to get our answer 67.5 degrees. Now in this case there's not much difference between the two methods but this exterior angle me method is the only one you really need to remember because you can work out the interior angles from this and you can do the exterior angles as well.